Apple's first event of the year is happening very soon, potentially in just a few weeks, and it's going to be a big one. Let's talk about it. First, when is the event happening? Well, it sounds like we're getting the event in March or April, most likely March, because Apple recently released the first beta of iOS 17.4, and they said it will be publicly released in March. Apple usually likes to release their big spring update after an event, in this case, March. Apple usually likes to pick Tuesdays for their events, sometimes Mondays or Wednesdays, but usually Tuesdays. If that lines up, then the event will most likely happen on March 5th, March 12th, March 19th, or March 26th. As for when the invites go out, it depends on what type of event it is. If it's fully virtual, fully online event, then the invites should go out six to seven days ahead of the event. But if the event is pre-recorded with an in-person viewing at Apple Park, then invites should go out 14 days ahead of the event. However, there is strong evidence suggesting that this event will happen either early in March or maybe even before March. Apple has been fighting with the EU about the DMA, Digital Markets Act. Basically, this law mandates that every phone would allow sideloading and third-party app stores in the EU, and Apple has until March 6th to comply with these EU regulations. iOS 17.4 beta adds support for sideloading and third-party app stores in the EU. Basically, iOS 17.4 has to be released on or before March 6th so that they can comply with these EU regulations. So that may indicate that this event will happen on March 5th, or maybe even in February, maybe February 27th. Apple usually likes to release their big spring update a few days after the event, or maybe even on the event as well. Now for the products, starting with the iPhone. Every year since 2021, Apple has released some sort of new color in the spring for the iPhone. In 2021, we have the purple iPhone 12, in 2022, we got the green iPhone 13 and alpine green iPhone 13 Pro. And in 2023, we got the yellow iPhone 14. We don't know what color we'll get this year with the iPhone 15, but it's going to be a very faint color because every color for the iPhone 15 except for the black one just uses white paint. The color itself is infused into the glass. That's why the colors on the iPhone 15 15 Plus are so faint. Maybe they change that for whatever this color will get in the spring, but we don't know. Next, the MacBook Air. The MacBook Air just got the 15-inch model last year. That's why we didn't get a new model with the M3 chip at the October event last year. But we should get those new models at this event. The new 13-inch and 15-inch MacBook Air models will have the same design as they have right now, but they'll have the M3 chip inside. This new model will be marketed towards Intel and M1 MacBook Air users, and less so marketed at M2 MacBook Air users. The M1 model should also finally be discontinued this year, and potentially be replaced by the M2 model taking its place, but this is unsure for right now. This is the only Mac that is basically guaranteed for this spring, but there are a few other Macs that could be coming around this time. Specifically, a new Mac Mini. A new M3 and M3 Pro Mac Mini is in development, but release time is unsure at this moment. Maybe we see in the spring, maybe at WWDC, or maybe later. We don't know. There's also a new Mac Studio with M3 Max and M3 Ultra in development, and a new Mac Pro with M3 Ultra in development as well. But since these models just got the M2 versions last year in June, we won't see new models until WADC 2024 at the earliest. Alright, let's talk iPads. 2023 was the first year in iPad history that we got zero new models. So 2024 is going to be a pretty big year for the iPad, starting with the iPad Air. This product was last updated in March of 2022 with the M1 chip. So this March, we should expect a new model with the M2 chip. It'll also feature a new camera bump design, kind of like the iPhone 10 camera bump design. But the biggest change to this new iPad Air is that it's going to be getting physically bigger. In addition to the current 10.9 inch model, there's also going to be a new 12.9 inch iPad Air alongside it. This will be the first time you'll be able to get a 12.9 inch iPad 
that is not a pro. Now, if you look at the current iPad lineup, you may be wondering how this new iPad Air will fit into the lineup. But as soon as we talk about this other iPad that's coming soon as well, you'll see how this 12.9 inch iPad Air fits into the lineup. Because alongside this new iPad Air is a new iPad Pro. This will be the biggest upgrade to the iPad Pro since 2018. The new iPad Pro will feature a redesign for the first time since 2018, and for the first time ever in an iPad, Apple will be putting OLED displays on here. This will be the first time Apple puts OLED on a product bigger than the iPhone. OLED means that each pixel will be individually lit, meaning deeper blacks and higher contrast. This display technology will be put into both models, yes, even the 11 inch, which currently still has an LCD display. Both models will also be getting ever so slightly bigger, going from 11 and 12.9 inches to 11.1 and 13 inches. Most likely meaning the bezels will also be shrinking. Speaking of the bezel, we don't know exactly whether it will be a notch, a one-sized bezel, or a dynamic island, but what we do know is that it's finally going to feature landscape face ID. This isn't even a rumor because it was confirmed in the newest iPadOS 17.4 beta. There's a line of text in iPadOS 17.4 beta saying Face ID needs to be in landscape to learn how to recognize you. And with Apple also saying that iOS and iPadOS 17.4 is coming this March, most likely alongside these new iPads, this pretty much confirms landscape Face ID is coming to these new iPad Pros. In addition to the new display and new design, the M3 chip will also be thrown into these new iPad Pros. The M3 will allow for hardware ray tracing from the iPad for the first time after coming to the iPhone 15 Pro, iMac, and MacBook Pro this past fall. We may also see Apple put MagSafe into his new iPad Pro. Not MagSafe 3, the iPhone's MagSafe. And there's also going to be a redesigned Magic Keyboard with an aluminum design and a bigger trackpad. Along with the new Apple Pencil 3 with magnetic tips coming as well. The OLED displays for this new iPad Pro is set for mass production next month in February, which means that these new iPad Pros will be released in April. Yes, not March. This isn't the first time that Apple released a product about a month or so after announcement. In fact, this isn't the first time it was regarding iPad Pro. In 2021, the M1 iPad Pro was announced in April, but not released until the second half of May. So this all sounds exciting, right? But unfortunately, it comes at a major cost. The 11.1 inch iPad Pro is rumored to start at $1,500 and the 13 inch at $1,800. That's nearly double the price of the current models. There is the very likely chance that these prices are wrong. Maybe we only see a $200 to $300 price increase, but we will see some sort of price increase due to that OLED display. That's why Apple is adding this 12.9 inch iPad Air because of this major price increase to the iPad Pro. So that's what we know so far about what's coming at Apple's March event in just a few weeks. With Vision Pro coming out in just a few days and even more coming from Apple in just a few weeks, it's a really exciting time for Apple.